This is a ton of run and a W140 S600 V12. guys all you haters doubters naysayers what have you and internet trolls dude the s600 with a twelve thousand dollar brilliant exhaust is back in business i had a lot of comments i'm going to put them all here on the screen <laughs> telling me and dictating me what you guys thought was wrong with the car and there were quite a few trolls saying that we've been driving this car a little too hard and we're basically breaking the engine we're ruining this and that let me reassure you, this car is 100% bonafide ready to roll because the mechanic at TPE basically said that it was just an electrical issue. He reset a few things, let it dry out because we have been driving this car in the rain for the past couple of days. And here it is, ready to roll for the Pagani Rally, hosted by none other than Pagani China. So we are also having a small issue here as well. Let's open it up, take a look at the interior because it is absolutely pristine. But uh, when the car was delivered earlier, uh, we we're having some issues with the valve controls. Now, if you press this left button right here, it'll open up the valves, and you press the right button, it'll close the valves. And uh, we had a little scare because the valves weren't opening properly. And what is the point of bringing this car to a Pagani rally if you're unable to unleash the $12,000 brilliant exhaust system? So, that being said, all is well, we basically turned the car off, turned it back on, and it's basically sorted itself out. Without further ado, let's roll out and see what this rally's all about. All right, so we're gonna pop the hood, let the car cool off right now. We're gonna have Max Showstack, the world's greatest canyon carver in Tokyo. Yeah, it's right there. It's what? Oh. <laughs> all right. Go on, now pull. Oh, ooh, he's thick. Okay, now step one. Max, you're so close right now. You're on the right track, so you do have to pull this little lever right here, or lever. No, 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 pull it. I'm afraid I'll break it. No, no, just, just pull it, just tug on it, and then lift. In service position for it's vertical. Oh, I don't know. old Mercedes Vintage do that. Oh, really? I didn't, I didn't know that. That's a max fact for you guys right there. So you just have to pull the latch right up here, pull hard enough, and lift, and voila, the V12 six liter m120 engine is exposed to the elements check it out we got a couple paganis rolling through here in formation for a private rally hosted by none other than pagani china so many props and many thanks to pagani china for hooking it up as always and of course we got the sti right over here as well as a support vehicle got the zonda uno got a zonda f and of course, we got Abdul in the Cinque right over here, and a Senna. Mm. Very nice. There we go. Unfortunately, there is a lot of traffic here. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see this S600 do a rev off with one of the Paganis over there. Mm -mm -mm. And uh, we had a little issue where the valves were not opening, but today the valves are opening. So without further ado, here we go. guys so we don't have an etc card but we do have the reader but well, you have to be a japanese citizen or local here to have the etc card to pay for the toll so we're gonna have to do this old school style with cold hard cash baby oh yeah so another 200 yen toll gate right next to a tunnel ladies and gentlemen open up the valves oh sorry <laughs> i apologize okay we're gonna kick into second gear we're gonna pass the camera off to Max Showstack here. Okay, here we go. scouting out a location to kind of park up the car and get some accelerations for you guys but dude look at the views here man amazing it kind of reminds me like the pacific coast highway uh in california we've got the whole squad going on here the s600 is performing absolutely flawlessly and check this out the back of this car we got the 
over 65 sticker and we got the learners we got two of them on the back of the s600 so mm. so my buddy cabman here has brought the mercedes s600 limousine 164 scale 187 what is oh He's crashed! <laughs> Kai's fine. It's, fine. Oh, it's good. We're good. 187 scale. What brand is this? Herpa, I think. Herpa. So what? All what the stickers. No, for the photo, man. Oh. For the photo. What? On the way. Please. All right, make sure it doesn't fall this time. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the model car is fine, guys. We uh, we checked it out. All is well in the world. <laughs> 187 scale Herpa. Is it like herpes? Herpa? <laughs> it's like Herbalife. Herpes. Herbalife? Oh, Herbalife. Hey, by the way, Herbalife is a scam. By the way, check this out. These 7-Eleven maple and margarine pancakes are amazing. You guys got to swoop one of these up if you're in Japan. These are... Mm. All right, I have some uh, unfortunate news for everyone here. It's not their fault. They just got stuck behind a lot of cars. It's quite busy. It's it's the weekend, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. We haven't gotten any accelerations with the Paganis yet, but there's no excuse, zero excuse on this straightaway right here. And we parked all three of our cars on the side. We're missing a fourth car. I'm not sure what happened to it. their fault there's a lot of traffic on these two lane roads so getting accelerations it's a little difficult we'll try again later as we got uh cadman and aaron chun in the subaru falling asleep we're gonna try to wake them with the uh, twelve thousand dollar exhaust hold on There's a little creek or river right across over here. Let's hop on over here. What is going on? Is that Cadman in the middle of the fucking river on a rock? What's he doing? <laughs> now that's a Tinder profile photo. We got the whole crew just chilling while we wait for the cars to arrive from one section over there. Yeah. One, two, three, shmee. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, oh fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got that! <laughs> So I think we're perfectly positioned right now. I think they're gonna go find another spot further up ahead. But this position right here for video should be pretty good. There's a nice straightaway here, assuming no one is in front of the cars. And as we just demonstrated earlier, there's a lot of echo with that barrier wall right over there. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
There you go, guys, some accelerations and some revs. All right, we're done. All right, so we are down about a quarter of a tank. We made it to the Hoconee Pass here. The scenery is out of this world. Uh, let's hop on out of the S600, boom. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that, we made it in one piece. This car has performed absolutely beautifully. Many thanks to Ken Seidel, Nori, and of course Koji for hooking it up at TPE, making sure the S600 is always taken care of. With that being said, we had a pretty good scare. We thought it was a head gasket. We thought it was a multitude of things that could have gone wrong with the car. But luckily, it was just an electrical issue. I don't know what the mechanic did. He basically just reset it or something, and uh, all is well. He said, don't drive it in the rain, because we did drive it through some pretty heavy rain. There was kind of like a semi-typhoon going on. And uh, yeah, all is well. The valves on the Brilliant Exhaust, the $12,000 Brilliant Exhaust, are finally opened and closing properly so all right guys so we're several hundred kilometers into our little road trip here for the next few days the paganis will be arriving here at the hokoni pit stop very shortly check out the view here the heavens have parted and of course there it is mount fuji right over there boom wait 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 oh this video is rated r <laughs> let me in the comments below what kind of videos you guys want to see in the coming days with some of the paganis hopefully some of the owners are kind enough to hook it up maybe we'll do like a rev off or some sort of like see which car car is louder so the group omo ran right over here it's a car rental service they have given us the wrx sti for around four to five days hooking it up make sure to check them out they got a bunch of nissan gtrs supras just a, anything and everything to satisfy your jdm needs when you're here in japan and you want to drive a cool car so oh mo ren check them out the scenery is absolutely beautiful and you know what i think i can hear some bugatti's coming yeah they're coming i can hear them hey it's abdul in the chinque oh stop focusing oh. Perfect. Look at that. Right on time. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh my God. Mm. Nice set of cars here, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. We got all the photographers up on the hill. The light is uh, rapidly vanishing here. We got the whole squad here. Check that out. The Uno. We got a Wira Roadster. Wira Roadster. It's not really focusing. It's Zonda F. And of course, the Cinque right over there. Mm. It's been five minutes and we're here at yet another toll. Standard vehicles, 200 yen. I think uh, we are racking up quite the bill. We've accumulated around 63,000 kilometers total on the odometer. We're around three quarters tank of gas. This car is performing absolutely beautifully. And of course the uh, temperature is quite reasonable after I would say a dozen pools in the tunnels. Anyways, 200 yen, here we go. Another tunnel, there's so many of them here in Japan. I will restrain myself and drive calmly and not disturb the peace of the collective people of Japan. I'm sorry. <laughs> 